Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Stellaris. The pre-release build, still, we are playing as the, the Quill Sovereignty over here. The The Quill. And we are, we've got a big vassal, the Hulfir Combined Commonalities, who are currently loyal. We've got a tiny vassal, the, the Davax League, who we enlighten. And I think long-term our plans will be to annex them. I think it'll take time. I don't know if it takes influence or not. I think I might just go and accrue the influence from now and see. Well, I'm still scouting around over here to see if there's a really good spot to put a frontier base. There's certainly some temple spot. That's a that's a lot of minerals. But it's going to be a little isolated thing. At this point, it's not necessarily that I need a ton more minerals. It's almost like if it was a giant science sector, then that might be another thing. Desert world isn't terrible for us, but isn't ideal. Aero Desert Continental. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. None of my ships are stuck doing the stupid wormhole dance that we saw last time. Nope. I'm going to have to check that more regularly. And I don't need to build or uh, send up my military. I am uh, working my way up to some cruiser stuff. Another colony ship there, which is good. And then, but do a, go ahead and do the spaceport upgrade afterwards. And we will want to keep building some colony ships. We've got some pretty good places to build. Uh, and we're going to keep trying to unlock a little bit more colonization tech as we go forward. Although it's not the priority at this exact moment, but that is still our plan. Let's take a look at how our sectors are doing. The Swainor sector here, who we've said be research focused. It's a pretty young sector though. So I think it's still taking some time to do it. It hasn't grown that big yet. But we're overall okay. Do you? What is this thing? Oh, sector capital. Oh, that's quite cool. You know, I have spaceports. I will want to build spaceports so I can give you hydroponics bays so that you can feed yourselves mostly from space as opposed to on the ground, which is a really nice thing. We're not capped at here, are we? Oh, we are capped here. Hello! Sudbari, which is getting three food from orbit, is capped in population and has six excess, which does nothing for us. So what we're going to want to do now is replace some of these hydroponic farms. And we don't have any... Um, can I? I can't forcefully resettle you, which is too bad. Because it might be nice to have some robots on this planet, but I guess it is what it is. So we're going to place the hydroponics farm. And while we do always need more energy, we also want more research. And our home planet here already has an observatory. There we go. For plus 10% output. So it makes a lot of sense for us to focus on research on this planet. So we're going to replace you with that. Um... But then we're only going to have an excess of three food. Well, depending on how it rounds the stuff. Yeah, we may have to leave it there until we can get the next level upgrade for this hydroponics farm, for example. Our miner mandate was fulfilled. Excellent. And we did finish another colony ship. So I think the plan I had with this one was to colonize Boaten. Do-do-do-do-do. Which will require us moving the capital to here at some point. It's not very big. It's got the blockers, which is really annoying. But it's not a terrible plan. It's actually going to be really good for societal research. Holy cow. Can even be... It can be added to this existing little thing. Or sector. Probably will give us access to Pandal, which has a lot of energy. I don't think there's a... I don't think that's bad. Colonize. And you're going to go there. It'll be annoying to have to move it later on. But there we go. So we're continuing to try to push out our borders. There's still some good spots within our borders, but whenever possible, I do like to colonize in a way to push my borders out until I can't do that anymore. Then I want to colonize a bit more internally, but of course it depends on the quality of planet. Still love that we did get that guy in world over here. And it's gonna be isolated, so it'll almost always be a core system rather than fit into a sector. So we will have to babysit it from time to time. At that, you're gonna go there. Everyone's working a building, which is fine. We want to clear some blockers, but we don't have to rush that, so that's okay there. You're doing that, which is groovy. Congratulations on your level up. Uh, Norwegian blue is full up. I think we are clearing that blocker right now. Yeah. And then we've still got this blocker clearing in the queue as well, which is nice. New election underway. I don't feel the need to particularly influence anything going on there. It is nice to keep getting the mandates though, and then that generates more um, more influence. I think that's quite cool. I don't know if we you know what's the strongest government type or anything, but it's quite nice. Do we need to... No, we still need to keep this frontier outpost. At some point... Really? Substance abuser? Congratulations. Um, what, is that, what does that do for you? 
Leader lifespan, minus 20 years. Okay, well, I mean, there are worse things. Uh, <laughs> there are worse things than being a substance abuser. So that's within our borders. We could go and improve that soon, now that we have the thing. Yeah, but we can't lift the Frontier Station, otherwise we'd lose these borders. We'd get pushed out pretty awkwardly. Construction complete. Spaceport, done, good. I think that was your upgrade, wasn't it? Yeah. Construction complete. Situation log updated. New ruler mandate, which will probably auto-complete whatever it is. It's the orbital research. Probable ceramics. Oh, we haven't done this yet. Oh, scientist died. So we're gonna need to hire a new one. Hopefully we can get a good one. Uh, wait, that's my existing ones. I was so excited. Oh, there we go. He's 43, a little older than some could be, but not as bad as others. And yeah, I mean, that careful is really nice, but we're gonna grab the Spark of Genius ones whenever we see them. Uh, oh. What's going on with these science ships? Why did, see, what, what happened? Cause I mean, survey speed. Clearly this science ship, I'm really confused. Did more than one die? No. Why did you not have anyone assigned? I'm very confused. But anyway, we're okay now. Um, I feel like I was talking about... Oh, yeah, 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 hold on. You over here. Is it here? It is here. Go, research that. Please and thank you. And that's just the new ruler, so we can go ahead and hide that. Good research here. But quite far away... Construction complete. Oh, I need a warp gate in Shannix. I'm gonna have to try to remind, remember that next time I've got a uh, ship up. Also, this is a good system to be improved. How much stuff you got in your queue? Plus one more. Uh, plus three orders. Okay, you're gonna come here. Okay. Encounter in Sudbury. Encountered some aliens from, oh, gamma aliens somewhere. Okay, we'll check you out soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift on our, pause, hold shift. Wormhole station. Then, I'm gonna go here. Hold shift, and... Well, I guess I'll hold shift here and just say, build me all the research stations. Thank you very much. All right, losing money right now. Lots of minerals. Do my sectors need any minerals? I'm so, I'm so good with my sectors. Uh, yeah, maybe. Probably spend it. Just unpause in here. Yeah, there we go. Love, I love seeing that. I mean, I'm so happy when they keep building things. And actually, this sector is a lot of people. There's probably a lot of room to keep improving it. So we'll do that. It's an investment in, you know, we have to trust the AI. And I realize that it's very hard to do. But I don't know. I like the slight reduction in micromanagement. So this, oh, right. Uh, I could probably add you to this sector now, couldn't I? I wonder what that would do to my economy. Because would this sector pay for that? So the master indie sector... I would like to add this. No, I don't think so. It also means I don't get to take the first pass at setting the uh, the tiles, which maybe I shouldn't have done. But that's okay. Uh, finish this mode. Wiseji Unidentified Empire. So there's still unidentified empires, which makes sense because there's a lot of space. Oh, there we go. That we haven't met yet. Wiseji have joined the Harmonious Alliance. What's our alliance called? Or our federation, I should say. Zadrian the Quill. Okay, hold on. Oh, the Entente. I do like the Entente. That's a quite a cool name. But we're going to call this the... Um, it's hard to, hard to name this one after a subscriber. It doesn't make as much sense, does it? I don't think so. I'm not going to name it after parties, because that's dumb. Although we are paying quite nice. The... Um, together for now. Federation. Well, I guess I don't have to say Federation, because that's actually implied in the rest of the text. So this is a Together For Now Federation. I let people know. There's a possibility I might leave for a little while if I have to go conquer things. It's just a thing that happens. I don't think these guys just grew somewhere. I swear it looks like their border just blipped out a little. Okay, sure, you can embassy me. I mean, it doesn't do anything, I don't think, but it does imply a certain amount of niceness. Fleet order's done. All you guys are actually doing things. You're not... With the wormhole, that, that weird glitch. That, I'm hoping that gets resolved by the time you guys get your hands on the, the 
the release version. You have to check sometimes to see if it does that weird blinking back and forth between doing and not doing something. And you can always fix it by, like, manually sending yourself to one of your systems, but... It's very weird and annoying. And it is definitely just a bug. And it can result in a lot of lost ship time. So, I'm, I'm, because we're not on the verge of a war, I would like to wait until the cruiser assembly yards are done before I start building cruisers. Who just died? Another governor just died. Now, I don't know how much I need planetary governors. In fact, I'd probably feel a lot better with sector leaders. So, let's take a look at who we can recruit over here, though. Uh, ooh, that makes a lot of sense. Although, the cheaper building cost and building time is really good for development as well. I think in the long run, I will grab a science governor because this is my science-focused sector. They're not producing much in the way of science yet, but in the long run, hopefully they will. Hopefully they will. These guys aren't... I'm assuming they're not currently producing any minerals. I mean, I could say, here, you don't have to give me anything. Oh! Oh, this is not what they give me. This is what they're developing. What they give me is over here. So I'm going to do this. You can actually save your minerals. It is going to hurt my energy credits, but that's okay. Hey, I've been misreading that. And you guys are getting tons, so don't worry about it. But you still don't have much in the way of minerals. So I'm going to dump, like, a ton of minerals on you. There we go. Because right now you don't make enough to really be self-sustaining. Whereas you are... And I'm wondering... At this point, since they're fairly well developed, well, you are going to have to spend minerals on a new planet, so I'm not going to go and increase how much I take from you, but at, very soon I'm going to go up to 75. It's worth noting you do have a sector limit. The amount of, oops, not creating a sector, the amount of planets in a sector, as far as I know, is unrestricted, but your number of sectors do have a restriction. So you could have one big mega sector, I think. By having two, is I can sort of split up their specialization a bit, which is kind of cool. Colony established. Yay, new colony. So that's boating over here. Oh, hold on. I can't do the thing where I move. Oh, shit. Because the whole idea was to move this. Ah, you know what? That's okay. Because I can't move it because I don't have control of the sector. But that's going to be fine. Um, I, don't, I think I might save a little bit of money right now for the spaceport. Because it is... I don't mind spending the minerals on it, but the energy credits kind of suck. Until we find the solar panels. Then things might change. Alright, everyone is busy. Battle group is idle, but that's fine. No space monsters to fight. We're in a great little federation. Feeling good about that. Is it... Oh, we can start... We can start integrating these guys. So, what is that going to take? Okay. It's going to take... 570 influence at a rate of 3 influence per month. We're only getting 2 influence per month right now. Well, actually, no. We're getting 2.9. So it's going to be pretty static. And we have enough stored. I, I don't think there's any reason not to do this. It is going to suck to have a bunch of xenophobes in our actual empire itself. But with peaceful annexation like this, or peaceful integration, I believe they're not going to be super cranky. I mean, maybe I want to leave them as is, but no. I, I think we want to annex them. And when one can do these guys... So three more years, although this integration, is there a progress here? Hmm. Can we find like a date, a time? Oh, 188 months remaining. So 15 years. It's a long integration, but they are a pretty big empire. I'm not going to deny that. I don't know if there's a way to, way to increase the rate at which you integrate someone, right? Because there's no diplomatic reputation or anything like that. There might be a technology for it, but I, I don't, haven't seen anything. So I'll have to think twice a little bit about whether I'm going to spend influence on an outpost. Still might be good to do, but I think with double integration, I think I'll just hold off. Because I might, because that's going to be a consistent drain on my influence, and I may not need to use the influence to hire a leader, which certainly sucks if we didn't have one. There we go. Um... I don't think you're doing anything. I don't think you've done anything in a long time. How about you? No! 
Unless you're waiting for a wormhole. I don't think these guys have done anything in forever. Halt. Halt. Science ship. Go down here. Okay, come over here. Good. I swear to God, I feel... An, oh, you're not in friendly territory. Is that what's screwing you up? And neither is my other one. This construction ship is here. That's it. It's They're sitting in foreign territory and weird things are happening. Okay, you're wormholing properly. And then you can't. You're doing the thing where you're stuck. Well, you can go here. <sighs> huh. There's Okay, the wormholes are definitely broken when you're trying to get through friendly territory. Or, like, friendly territory that you don't actually control. Wormholes are broken for that. Damn it! Because I really like wormholes, but this is kind of sort of no, not okay. I'm wondering if I should put this series on hiatus. And start up another game as a hyperlane or warp network uh, until release, or until there's a patch. Or we just eat these guys. The Pelk Credonian Coalition. Hmm. I really built that many wormhole stations there. Apparently I did. And yeah, so like, I was clicking on them to see if they were stuck, but now I gotta like actually load them up because i mean the bar doesn't progress if they're just moving but i have to like if the bar's not progressing what i have to do is click on them and make sure they're actually moving from now on damn that's really annoying unless there's something i'm missing i might be doing something wrong that's entirely possible but then the game's doing something wrong for not making it clear that i'm doing something wrong no uh -huh, so there <laughs> all right how you guys doing we do have some money um you're gonna be putting someone there which is fine. Actually, there you go right now. And I think what I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, we should get a robot going on. Right over here. You get a robot. And then you're going to build, say, a power plant over there. And then we can't clear a blocker because we don't actually have that kind of money. And you can upgrade. Ah, oh, planetary administration. Lovely. Finished another mandate. Beautiful. So you get more influence from that, which is great stuff to have. This, well, hold on. This is a tile that gives three society research? Holy crap! Special project. You can prioritize working that. Special project completed. Ah, the ceramics! After almost giving up hope studying the accursed ceramic object for so long, we've reached a breakthrough. Object isn't really there, but rather it's projection from a higher dimension. Analyzing it as a shadow of a fourth dimensional object, we have accumulated enough data to decrypt its message. The object teaches us how to improve in all fields of research. The only question is, who sent this information? Extra Dimensional Insights modifiers adds for 60 months. So for five years, we get 15% boost to research speed? What? System survey complete. Holy shit, Snacks! That's amazing! I've done the ceramics thing before, and that it did not turn out that way. I still succeeded, but I didn't get, like, that kind of event. It just did, I don't know, something else. I don't remember what. I wonder if it depends if it's a, like a random outcome or there's different government types that do stuff. I don't know. Build a mining station. Science ship, which is idle over here. You are going to finish surveying this uh, wettage system, please and thank you. And you over here can survey that. And not be stuck. Now, if we want this system, we're going to have to build a frontier outpost there, but I don't think it's worth investing, especially since we are a little influence poor. I'm going to leave that one tech untapped. I think what we do is... Oh my god! Did you guys... Oh, I'm so proud of you! This is, this is my vassal! They went and expanded over here, which I'm totally fine with! Especially since I'm just going to take them later, right? Oh, that's so great of them. 
I mean, them taking the science doesn't help, but the the minerals is actually kind of helpful because they can build up their planet better by the time I annex them, which I think I can start in 46, and they should annex a lot faster, I think, because they're smaller. I don't know how the math works out. I assume it's probably a uh, ratio of pops. Here's a good question. Who's the most populous species? I'm second most. The uh, Zach plot are the most predominant ones. There's no way from here to find out, like, which empire they belong to, I think, which is a little bit annoying, but hardly the worst. Diplomatic Communication, Galactic, Forsum, Imperium. Oh, you've opened an embassy. Well, hello. It's a pleasure. All right, you're still doing things, right? Yeah. It's as long as you don't pass through allied territory, everything is fine. I wonder if it gets confused because... I wonder, because we don't actually have an explicit travel agreement. I wonder if there's some sort of weird glitch there. So these guys are pushing out a bit more. Again, I don't know exactly how we feel about that. There's some good territory out there, but... It's not like we don't have any. I don't have to claim every little thing, although I want to... Oh! Tyr came within our borders. That's quite nice. I didn't realize you reached out so far. That'd actually be a really good one to hook up soon. Next time I get a construction ship, I should actually prioritize that. That and Pandil, which also wasn't in our borders, but I expected to get Pandil. I didn't expect to get Tyr. Beautiful. We can still get more minerals over here in Cotter as well. That's a pretty tight border there. I think if we hadn't settled this planet... I mean, we do have a frontier outpost here. It might have been enough. But they have an actual planet here. And planets have a lot more border push. So they might have been able to uh, grab Hadronis. At which point, all the mining stations would have gone instantly to them. We might want to do a check over here. Of what's going on there. So. 170 months remaining. That's very cool. Plus five. Relative power of subjects. Ooh, okay. Uh, you know what we have to do? We have to build up our fleet a little bit more. Uh, we've got a lot of minerals, which is nice. I know I said I was going to wait for the cruisers, and I'm still going to wait for the cruisers. But I'm going to go ahead and build a round of destroyers, which will still be okay to have around. I don't think we've got any upgrades. We could add in blue shard throwers, but the DPS is considerably worse. They do ignore armor, which is nice. And the space torpedoes do ignore shields, which is also good. Ah, we do have... We do have the level 2 armor. Which, honestly... I'm wondering if we just ignore shields for now. There we go. It's only... Well, it's only 25% reduction. It doesn't give us more hull or anything, right? I don't know. That's a pretty good amount of damage reduction. Let's save that. Uh, okay, we still only have the wormhole manipulator. We could... Oh, that's quite nice. Stay in formation, fire at nearby threats versus go straight at the enemy, try to deal as much damage as possible. I tend to like just more hull. I'm kind of happy with that. All right, that's the new anxiety girl. Anxiety girl. So I'm going to go and I will upgrade the fleet, which apparently, I think because we removed shields, there's like uh, the cost of the ship design didn't go up. In fact, it may have gone down. I don't know, but we can take this upgrade. It'll be interesting to compare the uh, strength before and after. And then I will build some more ships. You're at Master Indy? Okay, that's good, actually, because then I can build ships otherwise and it won't combine together. So I'm going to get... Pair of destroyers. Oh, you need to upgrade. So do that. Oops. Oh, you can cure them in sequence. Oh, that's interesting. And we don't have a ton of money, but go ahead and get that started. I mean, we've got lots of limit right now. And I could just build ships at the existing ones, but that's going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. Plus, you know, hydroponics farm and our new systems so they can grow faster. It's cool. Ships are all busy. Science survey actually done over here. So I don't know how much was left, but it had something. Uh, we didn't finish this survey, so I'm going to do that. And you are still actually moving, which is good. And this construction ship just finished. Beautiful. Oh, finished doing burritos. Mmm, burritos. So we still need to grab a lot of science over there. And we can grab the science. Okay, no, we're going to we're gonna grab all the science here. Especially since... Well, we are getting better in society research. It's really the physics research that we need. And I guess, luckily in tier, 
It's nice when it's four on one. Because a lot of times you find pairs, you know, pairs of twos instead. But that'll be a good system for us to, uh, to build. Standardized cruiser... Oh, patterns. Excellent. Cruiser assembly yards done. Actually... Hang on a sec. Cancel, cancel. Cruiser assembly yard. Cancel, cancel. Cruiser assembly yard. You need level 5 spaceport. Which needs more minerals. We'll get back to you. Level 2 good. Yeah, and then build those as well. So that's a mineral sink, but... Okay, I'm happy about that. I don't know if we need... I think two places building cruisers is going to be enough. They're pretty expensive. I doubt we can afford to build more than two at a time. We lost a scientist. We do not have an idle one, so we will recruit one. Anomaly research speed. Meh. And then the anomaly failure risk. I think we'll just go for this one. Field manipulation now. Fields are mostly going to be probably more physics. Now, what are you researching right now? A sign expert field, which we don't have. Actually, we do have an expert for that right here. But you're also a really good surveyor, so that's going to be okay. All right, so I'm going to put that scientist there, and then I'm going to put the spark, spark of genius guy down there, and we need a new engineering research. That's right, there was a pop-up a while ago. More armor, which is good. Armored torpedoes, very nice. Torpedoes do continuously ignore uh, shields. Very expensive, though. I'm debating just unlocking low-level mass drivers, just to recycle this a bit. The thing is, we know we need more plasteel armor. That's not a doubt. We don't need the, the fighter wings as much. It keeps coming up, but we've got the flagella coming. So yeah, I'm going to get the plasteel armor, because we know we're going to want it at some point. Doesn't matter what. Even if we want shields and things like that, we know we want plasteel, so I'm okay with that. Finished orders, construction ship, where are you? You're over here. That's outside of our borders. That is also not quite reachable. Why don't you build that mining station there? I mean, we do need the science, but the energy is quite good. Actually, we're making really good energy right now. How are our sectors doing? You are generating a fair amount of energy. We're only taking 50%. Uh, Charlesy, before I spend any resources, I want to make sure you can get to your level 5 spaceport, so then we can buy it, build the cruiser thing. And I think that'll be good. I think two places building cruisers is really all we need. Most of we get the spaceports other places for a little token defense, and then the modules. Although, it's easier to say that when you've got the solar panels. You've been fully surveyed. May as well survey you as well. What's the planet here? Desert world. Yeah, I don't think we have that tech. Construction complete. Super refinish the surface queue. Okay, everything's upgraded there. Charlesy is like a huge planet. Jesus, this is a good system. Got upgrade there. Uh, you don't have a robot yet. And you're going to get some unemployed people soon. Uh, this is not really an efficient way of an order of doing things, but I'm going to get a robot started. And I'm going to clear that. Oh, and then we can't afford it. So they'll start complaining about um, unemployment soon, but that's okay. Complete. You finish the construction queue. So your tech output isn't bad. I mean, you have no physics. No, you, oh, wait, hold on. What's, what's this versus what's this? This is my output. What's this box? Is that like my innate stuff? No. Uh, maybe. Right, this tile was one engineering. There's one engineering over here and nothing else. Okay, so this box must be the innate stuff on this planet. Oh, okay, that's cool. And this is what I'm actually producing. Hmm. And we don't have a robot here yet. Oh, but I can't clear this. And Yeah, so I'm not going to build a science module. Ended the rivalries. Okay, you guys have fun. Well, I guess we'll put a cut in here. Just out of curiosity, if I picked, like, some of my neighbors. Ooh, they have superior. Yeah, well, we haven't been expanding our, our um, fleet at all. And if we compare, let's take a look at the tech. Naval capacity and technology is equivalent. 
In fact, I'm willing to bet, I, I mean, equivalent is a very fuzzy number. I think it's like kind of sort of within a 50% ratio. So they might have only a naval capacity of 60, but be at 60 ships or 60 actual used capacity. So that will put them superior Navy-wise, but equivalent the rest. And I'm willing to bet if we build up to our force limit, as soon as we start popping out some cruisers, we're going to get superior to like everyone. And then we'll have to figure out exactly what that means, conquest-wise. All right, you guys are... Still being very active. Good. Excellent. All right, we'll put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. And we'll be back soon, hopefully, with another episode. We just have to make sure to keep dodging this problem. The freaking warp gates. Ah, the wormhole stations. I do love the wormhole station tech. But that's a little frustrating. See you next time.